In a world where trust is currency, the revelation that Wells Fargo, a titan of American banking, systematically betrayed customer confidence, shakes the very foundation of financial integrity. Imagine opening your mailbox to find a credit card you never applied for, or checking your bank statement to see accounts multiplying like digital rabbits. This was the reality for millions, unveiled in a scandal of epic proportions that not only questioned the ethics of one of the oldest banks in the United States, but also triggered a nationwide outcry for banking reform. The Wells Fargo scandal is not merely a tale of financial transgression, but a saga of shattered trust and the quest for redemption. The Wells Fargo scandal came to light in 2016, revealing that bank employees had opened millions of unauthorized accounts in the names of unsuspecting customers. This revelation sent shockwaves through the financial community and beyond, raising serious questions about the integrity of Wells Fargo's business practices, particularly their aggressive strategy of cross-selling. Cross-selling a common practice in the banking industry where existing customers are offered additional services, was taken to an unethical extreme at Wells Fargo. Employees driven by immense pressure to meet sales targets began creating fake accounts to boost sales figures, ultimately leading to widespread consumer fraud. The initial public reaction was one of outrage and disbelief. Customers felt betrayed, and trust in the banking giant plummeted. This case study not only highlights the dangers of unchecked corporate practices but also serves as a cautionary tale for institutions that prioritize sales over ethical standards. Founded in 1852, Wells Fargo is one of the oldest and most established banks in the United States. Prior to the scandal, it was regarded as a pillar of American banking, known for its stability and reliability. The bank's historical significance is underscored by its iconic stagecoach logo, symbolizing its roots in the gold rush era. However, the scandal revealed a stark deviation from this venerable image. Understanding the bank's history is crucial in comprehending the depth of the betrayal felt by its customers and the general public. Wells Fargo's long-standing reputation for trustworthiness made the revelations of the scandal all the more shocking and damaging. At the heart of the Wells Fargo scandal was the practice of cross-selling, pushed to unethical limits. Employees, under intense pressure to meet unrealistic sales targets, resorted to creating fake accounts without customer consent. This scheme involved not just checking and savings accounts but also unauthorized credit cards, insurance policies, and other financial products. The mechanics of the fraud were simple yet insidious. Employees would use the personal information of existing customers to set up new accounts, forging signatures, and fabricating email addresses to enroll customers in online banking services. This practice not only inflated employee sales figures and triggered unearned bonuses, but also caused harm to customers, affecting their credit scores and leading to unwarranted fees. This part of the scandal underscores a critical failure in corporate oversight and the dangers of a sales-driven culture that rewards results over ethical conduct. The unethical practices at Wells Fargo were first brought to light by a combination of investigative journalism and internal whistleblowers. Once the extent of the fraud was uncovered, the fallout was swift and severe. Wells Fargo faced immediate backlash from the public leading to a loss of customer trust and confidence that would take years to rebuild. In the immediate aftermath, the bank was hit with numerous penalties and sanctions. Regulatory bodies stepped in and Wells Fargo was subjected to fines and restrictions on its business operations. This segment of the scandal's timeline is pivotal in understanding the immediate impact of the revelations on the bank's financial health and public image. The public response to the Wells Fargo scandal was overwhelmingly negative. Customers felt deceived and mistreated, leading to a significant backlash against the bank. The government also took swift action, with investigations launched by several federal agencies, including the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. This segment explores the broader societal and governmental reactions to the scandal, 
highlighting the demand for accountability and reforms in banking practices. The response also included calls for greater transparency and stricter oversight to prevent similar unethical practices in the future. In response to the fraud, Wells Fargo faced a barrage of legal challenges, including class action lawsuits filed by affected customers and employees alike. The bank agreed to pay hundreds of millions in settlements and was fined significantly by various regulatory bodies. This part examines the legal ramifications of the scandal, providing insight into the judicial processes that were mobilized in response to the corporate malfeasance at Wells Fargo. It also discusses the broader implications for legal standards in the banking industry. The scandal had a profound impact on Wells Fargo employees, many of whom were caught between the demands of an oppressive sales culture and their ethical obligations. Whistleblowers who came forward faced retaliation and career setbacks, highlighting serious issues within the bank's corporate culture. This segment delves into the personal stories of employees affected by the scandal, including those who were compelled to participate in unethical practices and those who bravely reported them. It sheds light on the human cost of corporate malfeasance and the need for protections for whistleblowers. In the wake of the scandal, Wells Fargo undertook a series of measures to address the issues and restore public trust. This included overhauling its sales practices, revamping its leadership, and launching a comprehensive marketing campaign to rebuild its tarnished image. This part analyzes the steps Wells Fargo took in response to the scandal, assessing the effectiveness of these measures in addressing the underlying issues and restoring confidence among stakeholders. It also considers the challenges the bank faced in implementing these changes. The Wells Fargo scandal had a ripple effect across the entire banking industry, prompting a re-evaluation of sales practices and regulatory standards. This section examines the changes in regulations that were implemented following the scandal, including stricter scrutiny of sales practices and enhanced protections for consumers. The impact on the banking industry as a whole is also considered, with insights into how other institutions reacted to the scandal and the steps they have taken to prevent similar issues. The ethical breaches at Wells Fargo serve as a stark reminder of the importance of corporate ethics and the consequences of their neglect. This segment explores the ethical lessons that can be drawn from the scandal, including the importance of aligning business practices with ethical standards and the role of leadership in fostering an ethical culture. The broader implications for corporate governance and ethics are also discussed offering insights into how businesses can better integrate ethical considerations into their operational strategies. Looking ahead, Wells Fargo faces the challenge of rebuilding its reputation and regaining the trust of its customers and the public. This part discusses the current status of Wells Fargo and its prospects for the future, including the strategies it is implementing to recover from the scandal and prevent future ethical breaches. The steps being taken to restore trust and the potential obstacles the bank faces in this journey are also explored, providing a forward-looking perspective on Wells Fargo's path to redemption. The Wells Fargo scandal is a critical case study in the importance of ethical business practices and the profound impact of corporate decisions on customers, employees, and the broader community. This final section summarizes the key points discussed in the essay, reflecting on the importance of trust and integrity in the banking sector and the ongoing need for vigilance in corporate governance. In conclusion, the Wells Fargo scandal underscores the need for continued vigilance and informed engagement by consumers in the banking sector. This section provides a call to action for readers to stay informed about corporate practices and engage with financial institutions responsibly. 
Resources for further reading and research are also provided, encouraging a deeper exploration of the issues discussed and fostering a more informed and proactive consumer base.